Right, David Can here with another question from your Hayson Harris Math SL textbook. This is question uh, 5 from exercise 8b. And in this question, what we're doing is we're using the arc length of a sector to find that sector area. So the first part of the question says to find the angle theta and in radians for this figure, and then use that to find the area of the figure. So first off, we want this angle, which is describing this arc. And we know the length of the arc. So we're going to wind up using the arc length formula. And we know that arc length is equal to, and again, we're working with ratios here. A whole circle, if we have the whole circle's circumference, that's 2 pi r. But we don't want the whole circle's circumference. We just want the fraction which is on this arc. And so that's the fraction of the circle described by theta. That's theta out of 2 pi. So the fraction of the circle times the circumference of the circle. This simplifies because we have 2 divided by 2 and pi divided by pi. And what you get is the formula which may be more familiar to you, r theta. And it's important to note that this formula, because it comes from this fraction here with 2 pi in it, this formula only works if theta is in radians. So we're going to get an answer for theta in radians, which is what we want anyway. So that's fine. We know the arc length here is 8.4 centimeters. So the arc length is 8.4. And the radius of the circle is 5 centimeters. It means that theta is 8.4 divided by 5. And when you punch that into your calculator, it works out to 1.68, and that answers in radians. All right, so that answers half the question. We now have the angle, 1.68. Next up, what we're going to try and do is now find the area of the figure. So what we want is sector area. And once again, this, this works out as a fraction. The sector area is just a portion of the area of the whole circle. The area of the whole circle is pi r squared. We don't want the whole circle. We just want the fraction described by the angle theta out of the whole circle, 2 pi. And again, things cancel. Pi divided by pi leaves us with a division by 2. That's 1 half times r squared times theta. And we get the formula that you're familiar with. And once again, because it came out of this fraction, theta out of 2 pi, that means theta has to be in radians. And we're working in radians, so it's no problem. We want to know the sector area, so that's 1 half times the radius, 5 centimeters, times the angle describing the sector, 1.68. 5 squared, 5 centimeters squared is 25 square centimeters, multiplied by a half is 12 and a half square centimeters. Multiply 12 and a half square centimeters by 1.68 and you get about 21 square centimeters.